So, so this part of the talk is really to get into the, the detail of the FEMA P58 method um, and the application of that method for a USRC rating. In terms of outline, um, I'll start with an overview of FEMA P58 in general um, and then go through some of the details of the methodology in terms of the steps of it and kind of hit the high points there. Um, and then after that, talk about the specific USRC rating process um, based on P58. And then I'll go through two examples. Um, one's just sort of an overview of how you might use this for a new building design if you want, you know, a five-star resilient building. And um, the purpose there is really to kind of get out of the weeds a little and, you know, try and look at the big picture um, because most of the beginning stuff is really a lot of the detail. Um, and then we will go in and do a rough building rating together um, in the SP3 software, which you guys have, have been set up with trial accounts on, and um, go through and, and do that together probably for 45 minutes, something on that order. Um, and then we'll talk about next steps timeline. Um, the, basic, the basic process of, of the P58 um, certification for the USRC is, is this intro um, presentation today. And then, then everybody needs to do a, an example and, and test, basically test out doing a P58 rating for a building. And then we've got Q&A sessions next week. We've got four different one and a half hour sessions that most of you have signed up for. Um, and then that example, once it's completed, you'll have to send a note to Ron. You can CC me. I can help manage it um, to, you know, basically say you're done with your example. You know, the name of the example is... 10 story building in LA or whatever, um, you know, take a look. And then once that's done, um, then kind of this part of the P50 training is done for the certification process. Okay. So in terms of overview, uh, P50 has been developed over a 10 year period and they're about two or three years into the phase two. So we're up to 12 to 13 years. Um, the budget, I think, so far has been about $12 million, um, and there is about two more years of ongoing development. And I would say the, the unique thing about P58 is that it's really tailored to building specific analysis, and that's in contrast to the other methods available, has this ATC 13, things like that, where those other methods are really looking at portfolio analysis and looking at sort of building classification behavior on average. Um, and P58, you know, is really focused on building specific, so it's a perfect fit for what we want to do in terms of USRC ratings. And the output results, of course, match up to our USRC dimensions conveniently. Um, it, it, the process used uh, predicts repair costs, um, safety, fatalities, and injuries, um, and then repair time and red tagging. And we'll talk later about um, some of the different processes we're using for repair time for the USRC rating process. Okay, so in terms of steps in the process, I'll go through this relatively quickly because I think that, you know, we all um, probably have an, an overall idea of P58. Um, first, we need to understand ground motion hazard. So we need to know about the soil at our site, um, be able to do a hazard for our site. Um, hopefully for rating processes, we can mostly get that from USGS and standard databases. We then have to predict structural responses. Um, what are our drifts, floor accelerations, and residuals? And then from the structural responses, the P58 database then has fragilities of component damage that basically say if the drift is a percent, you know, you expect um, a certain chance of being in damage state one versus two versus three. And then there's database information in P58 that then relates that damage to how much it costs to fix the damage, which then gives us our economic loss. Um, also relates damage to casualties, right? That's both um, collapse and the related consequences of, of fatalities due to collapse. In the P58 process, it also includes falling hazards, um, particularly lighting and things falling out of the ceiling and the injury consequences of those. Um, and then also repair time. Right, so predicting how long it'll take to, to fix the building. And we'll talk a bit later about, on the repair time side, um, some of the, the ready repair modifications that we use in the USRC process. So a couple of 
of general comments. Um, the P58 method is, is probabilistic rather than deterministic, and we'll talk about how, you know, sort of all the uncertainties go together. Um, in the USRC process, we're using, we're using means, so it's a little bit less important for what we're doing. Um, overall, the process um, handles these uncertainties. You can get 90th percentile of response, you know, what, what's the loss with only 10% chance of exceedance. Um, there's really a lot that it provides um, if you want to dig into it. So it does give a lot more additional information um, beyond what we're using in the USRC process, um, which, which may be you know, useful for you for other purposes. So that's kind of the overview. Now I want to go through the steps in the process and, and dig into the details of what we're